Hi from Belize, everyone. I wanted to share with you one of my takeaways from this great week of classes with Jesse Y at Belize Yoga. So we were working on a lot of modifications for different poses in yoga, and you know, one of the issues that a lot of us have are wrist issues, uh, and uh, especially in things like plank and downward facing dog. So she was talking a lot about a lot of the things that you've heard me talk about, about shifting your weight towards your fingers and reducing that angle at the wrist. So um, one of the cues that I often give is to take that very center part of your palm, just like a little dime-sized center of your palm, and lift that away from the floor as you press into the underside of your knuckles. And I know that's a hard thing to figure out how to do sometimes, so this week I had a little discovery as to how to explain that to you a little bit better. So if you bring your hands together in the Anjali Mudra, and then press your hands together. See if you can press your knuckles together, including the thumbs, especially the thumbs, just as much as you're pressing the heels of your hands together. Right, now let's make sure we have a pretty good bend in the wrists here so that this becomes really obvious. And then keeping all those knuckles pressed together, lift your palms away from each other, but keep the edges of your palms sealed. So this whole area here, seal it like you have like water in there that you don't want to get out. So pressing your palms together, pressing your knuckles together, and then lifting the palms away, but keeping the palm area sealed. I hope that makes a little bit more sense to you. So right now, I can't feel my palms touching each other. I can feel my hands touching each other all the way around the edges, but my palms are not touching. There's space in there. So we want to take this and translate that then to coming onto all fours. So press into the floor all the edges of your hands and then lift just that center part of your hand away. Let's see if I can move so you can actually see the hands. There we go. And now I don't know if you can notice here what happens with my forearms and wrists as I do that. You can see a little strengthening there. I get a little lift out of my hands. This is an awesome thing. So try that with your planks, downward dogs, table poses. And I think that you'll find a lot more uh, pleasantness will come out of it. The um, strengthening that you saw around my forearms and wrists and also the top of my hand, that helps keep all the bones in the right place. It helps support us. Just like we want core support, we also want support from the muscles of our wrists. Give it a try. Let me know what you think. Let me know if uh, this new cue really works much better for you. Thank you so much. Namaste.